Welcome back to the channel, I'm OP, and in today's episode we will be going over some of the best highlights from the matchup between Weibo and LNG during round 2 of the LPL 2024 Spring Playoffs. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. You know what, they always <laughs> creeped me out. I, I, like, I, knew that, I knew they were there, but I never really woke them because they scared me. I think they, they were, were very overly out. positive, yes. <laughs> Ooh, oh, a little shove into Shaohu, he's dead. Hold on! That's first blood to scout. I would love oh. to see Rick get back to it now. Three man top. We'll try and pick up CDZ. There's a metal horse coming for you. You gotta get away. Got the yellow card. Okay, he's fine. He pulled out his cards. Uh, Hung is also here dog. just in case. Yeah, they, they are dog, full Gala. on pressing. No TP. There's three he members used there. Just now. Oh, this is looking really rough for Gala. They are putting some hurt onto him, and they. Oh, I took a little bit, but like got the cash in. Okay. <laughs> that was I think 500 gold. Cash too far behind um, in terms of gold leads in individual lanes and playing towards his later on team fight abilities. Yeah, I think ooh, Flash coming out there as well. They're going to just get the nature's grasp here. Flash play from Shaohao, but they actually get the push back. And it's still going to be Crisp over the wall. He can't get him, but the sapling. No, it's Shaohu who makes the difference there. He gets a revenge kill on a scout. Okay, how reportable is that? I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> Hang, Hang sees... The crystal. Ash. So maybe he thought he would actually tank that one and that Hang wouldn't die and they would both get out and they would grab the void grabs. However, now <laughs> talking about neutral objectives in general, he's going to be the second dragon of the game. Ooh, got the nature's grasp out beforehand now. They get the double TPs coming in. A little bit of damage on the side from Chris. Chow Hao is in there. There comes the chain to Crystal Arrows. Well, the, the whirling death coming over. Chow who's trying to lock down Zika. They have a lot of damage on the Gala here as well. Zika goes in with the flash play. Can he survive though? He gets it. He's going to get him as ZDZ claims his kill and now Weibo can move forward. They find Weiwei slow here. They're going to chase him down and that's the strength that Chris has on the Ash. They can't find the angle on the other side as the mag magical journey gets LNG out, but that's dragon number two for Weibo. Jungler down, top laner down, no Renekton around, Weibo gave me. That was a fantastic fight. LNG overextend and Weibo pull the trigger with all their ultimates. Ooh. Nice flash from ZDZ to get out of the shuffle. Weibo, the true winners of this one, slow Slowly. trading a Rift Herald for a Botland Tower. Usually, we're talking about, hey, if you are going to take the Rift Herald, you most likely invest in a lot of time for potentially a tower. But look at the rotation coming in from Weibo, Gala. Gala gets flashed. Oh no, Gala missing the Chains of Corruption and Light will claim his kill. A big cash in for Weibo's bot laner. Absolutely fantastic rotation right here. You see Shaku pushing that bot lane wave. Started rotating towards the mid lane. They catch Gala, they take his flash. There is no cleanse onto Gala. So the second he's rooted by an arrow, by a Maokai, uh, by Maokai, by LeBlanc, anyone is gonna end up going down. And again, we we mentioned the question right here. This one, uh, however, dragon, again, though. he created so much pressure on the side lane. Hang had to go towards the top side of the map. The second they Shabu see this. Well. Uh, the biggest thing for me now is trying to utilize light in any way possible. It's been a little bit uh -oh. quiet for this bot side, but LNG, they want to punish Xiaohu yet again. They get TP, Temper Fate going to actually hit. So now, Xiaohu, you got to make a magic trick here. You are a magician. Is it going to be enough? CC combo is there. Xiaohu goes back to his clone, but it doesn't matter. LNG managed to punish. Shahu with the lack of flash, but what do they lose on the map? However, ZDZ is pushing bot lane tower. He's going to take that one, but LNG are going to start Baron. Yep. 30 seconds for Shahu. There is no teleport on their mid lane. They're going to have to fight these four versus five. And mind you, they've got the super squishy composition. They're no build team fight. Destiny did get popped, but he's not going to join this yet. Nature's Grass in there. Light doing a ton of damage. The Whirling Death going in. Scout! He's going to flash out of it. Beautifully done from Lau. Gala, Look Gala, at Gala! Gala. He's going to die to the Baron! Shaohao gets the kill there. And Weibo, they've utilized their map pressure to force LNG into mind control themselves. ZDZ's fighting the chase down. Crisp has the slows. And those volleys are going to help rain death on LNG. On just wants to get one more. Oh, the frozen volley not going to be enough. Shaohao. He's got the saplings, but it's going to connect on the Zika. They're under tower on a scout. Xiaohao might be overextending a little bit here as the trees, they have come alive. And here comes ZDZ too. Light's going to try to get scout here. And he goes golden only to delay his death. And Light will claim it. 
And there's so much that's going on in this team fight that Sahu is back up. They need to clear out that midway. Oh, I wish right here somebody from Weibo Gaming would be pressuring that bot lane wave that's building up onto the inhibitor tower. But they want to stick us five to try and fight LNG Scout on pushing duty over in the mid lane. Dragon's going down. Ooh, it's very okay, low. So Xiaohu has TP. He's going to try to come back into the fight with a better health bar. Scout also coming back, but he's already full health, so he must be completing an item. Here comes the double TP. Zika on the side. That's Zanya's completed for Scout. Very big. Dragon getting low. Who's going to get the smite bite? It is secured by Weiwei, so soul denied. Xiaohu going to have the flank here on the other side. Tempered Fate goes wide. Zika now joining, but he's going to back away because LNG got what they came for. ZDZ are the one desperately looking for something, and there's the flash out of the Chains of Corruption. Ooh, they saw Weiwei falling really low and they had blood in their eyes. You kill Weiwei right there, you take the smite out. That is Baron guaranteed for Weibo Gaming. However, you did not kill Weiwei, he's still sticking around. LNG, are not, they know that the Baron is going down. There's like double, triple, quadruple AD carry oh my God, on the side of so LNG. Weibo are trying to decide if they want to commit. Here comes the crash out for Weiwei. Weiwei oh, gets it! it! And that's why he was in finals just last summer. And now here comes LNG for the fight. Crisp is able to put some damage on the other side. Weiwei sacrifices his life. And now the blind, the whirling death. It's enough. It's going to claim oh. more. It's Xiao who claims his old ADC in Gala. Memories run deep, but teamwork runs deeper. And Weibo wiped the fight. They even catch out Scout here. They're going to lock him down. He goes golden, but is it going to be enough? It's trying to get some damage back here. He goes in. He gets CC'd, and Light claims him now. Light's about to get even more gold dumped into his pockets, but it's Xiao who claims the kill, and they're on to the mid lane turret. Weiwei's efforts for nothing. Weibo Gaming kill every single member off. Not a single buff survives for LNG. We talked about the power LNG of LNG are a little bit more susceptible to getting picked from Weibo Gaming. They did Gaming. deny it last time. Can they do it again? Shahu on the flank. They do have so much vision on that ball quadrant. Weibo Gaming <laughs> know everything, Gala. Ooh, Xiaohu's getting some really good poke on the other end. Tempered Fate to deny some time. Ooh, we got a little top lane tussle there. Now the dragon getting low. Wait, wait, got it last time, but this time Xiaohu gets it. Now Xiaohu getting some more poke. Here comes the Whirly Death, not gonna get him. The flashes have come out. There is a big Emperor's Divide on the light, and they take him out with Gala's help, and that will be Gala trading his life for it. Now Xiaohu hunting down Hung. ZDZ had ended up fighting his way to mid lane, and Weibo, they take their soul, they take their fight, and now they're marching down this Zika crocodile on the side lane. And they're honestly stopping the backs here as well. They do have a wave towards the bottom of the map. You see ZDZ instantly going towards top. There's a mid lane wave pushing. Weibo Gaming have pressure on three lane. Shahu is looking for Zika, trying to stop him. Ooh, Zika run, goes baby, past the run. control ward. He knows he's oh. in oh. 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 Oh, He's trying to bait it. Oh, oh, he oh. knows. <laughs> he ends up getting him down. Zika's still pretty healthy. <laughs> They're just gonna have to kite their way to victory. It's like uh, it's like that movie Godzilla. It's uh, but it, it takes a little bit longer than the movie. I feel like he will end up falling finally to Xiaohu. Renek from Zilla goes down. I'll be put into a task to maybe have to go in four versus five. There's no freaking way. Your neck is dead. There is no teleport. You're gonna lose the soul. You're gonna lose the Baron. And right now, LNG. His fourth and fifth item. Yeah, that's why I actually commend Hang right there to try and get something going on the map. Oh, there's a long range arrow. He will hit Z. Oh, he stopped. <laughs> he stopped right before the arrow. Ooh. Oh, oh ha my Hank goodness. Cannot say He's the same. just gone. That's, uh, that's a full build Draven right there for you. Now Xiaohu finding uh, a little help with ZDZ. A long distance yellow card and Weiwei. He's going to have that armor cut in two. As the Whirling Death claims his life, Light gets another one. Seven and two for the carry of Weibo. And a little bit. They're crashing down the mid and top. They have all these Baron minions available to them. And the red side victory, not one to come often to our LPL teams, is going to be a first strike for Weibo in this series. Get one best of five separating the end of your season or a continuation onto JDG. And Weibo using their momentum off of that IG victory to open up playoffs. 
to bring the heat to LNG. They take a couple more. One big at first divide from Scout. But that Azir made no difference this time around. And Weibo turned their eyes out of the Nexus. And they'll claim game number one. Really difficult to gank or dive from right side due to the wall structures. Maokai worked wonders for them. Got, uh, got MVP for the game. Right Xiao. here, Xiaohao is wrapping around, which means that Weiwei does not know that he's there. Gala, There's not a tree the coming for you. Oh, yeah. Well, you gotta watch out. Tree equals happy face for Weibo. He gets the nature's advance, and there you go. Chris gets first blood for Weibo. They strike on the bot side where we said LNG needed to be strong. Ah, oh, that was so clever from Xiao Hao. He knew. He knew and that Weibo. Them, they are a little late to this dragon. Weibo already struck it down to about a thousand health, and Xiao Hao will claim that first dragon for Weibo. Yeah, absolutely. Again, they're playing with the timers, right? Scout was all the way back in base. It was resetting. Wait, 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 please. I think I just gassed or cursed him a little bit. Luckily, he won't fall, so I don't have to take any responsibility there. <laughs> but information that you can about your own gameplay, about your opponent's gameplay, etc., etc. Now, Scout is looking at Shaku. Ooh, flash out, Buster Shot there. He's going to have a rocket jump available. Gets over to safety. Scout doesn't have any way into the fight now, and Hung's going to have to flash. Pop Blossom flash into on a way way. That is also the Tangle Barb. There are so many lockdown potentials from Weibo. They force so many flashes from LNG. Absolutely. Shaku and Crisp lost their own ones as well. Again, Crisp using that clone from Nico to tank the calling, and... Huge fight up on the top side of the map. They really want to deny the five Void Grub buff they have from, a here. from LNG. ZDZ is so far away. No TP. One already gone. They just need to get one of these potentially here. If they can sneak in. Xiaohao is going to get bubbled up here now. Uh, cleanse actually from Gala too. Xiaohu is looking to jump in. They do end up getting in here in time to deny that to burn his now. Absolutely, that is a TP down from another pressure point coming in from Shaku Gala. Ooh, ooh, ooh Weiwei. Wei. That's the nature's grass coming out as well. They are going to tag onto Weiwei. Wei. Ooh, double bubble. You're boiling in trouble there. Pop Blossom from Chris. Though he's going to lock down Weiwei Wei and light rends his life from him. Zika is here. Gets caught by the Tangle Bob. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's an avalanche uh -oh. coming with you. And he's got two in Tofus. That's double kill for Light. Make it more here with a trade back from Hung. He able to get down Xiao Hao, but the pressure is there. And Weibo look to press under the turret. They're going to take a few more tower plates right here. There's two members running from base. They're looking for Zika, but diving right now. Or Renekton, when you know that Azir is already on the rotation because the Reaver has not necessarily been set up for them. They do not have any... Uh, resources onto the Kalista either. There is no flash, there is no the heal. angle here, Nature's Grasp gonna connect in the end. No explosive charge on him as it went on to Hung. Oh, oh he goes ZDZ. in! He wants to get some more of those solo kills you were talking about. Can't get the unstoppable combo and he might just die! Oh! That's why Scout is the Emperor on Azir! Number 17 you were looking for, ZDZ. Have you met Scout Azir yet? Crisp is looking. Ooh, Crisp finding a nice combo. Tidal Wave on the way out, though. Nice Magnet Storm. Xiaohu gets bubbled as well. Ren's not going to be enough. Neither is the explosive charge, but Xiaohu wants it with the Buster Shot. And there he gets it. Now, Zika has found a flank on a Xiaohu. Xiaohu's trying to rocket jump his way out of that one. And LNG, a little thing I noticed in that uh, Azir trade as well is Scout waiting to use his Emperor's Divide until ZDZ was in mid-dash, knowing he can't use the Unstoppable. But now we get to see Xiaohu pouncing on the Weiwei again. He's very tanky, has the Magnusorm. Tidal Wave coming in as well. He actually tanks up everything. And now Zika is the frontliner that LNG need. They will push them off Wait. this mid lane priority here. But it was also in the side lane that Scout got another solo kill on a ZDZ. ZDZ is trying to desperately 1v1 Scout, and it's just not going in his favor. Two solo kills right now for Scout, and we said how he was set behind in game one, and he was still all over the place for LNG. He was still the saving grace, and right here, he's banked. Two kills from zero from ZDZ. That is it's very, so very big for LNG when it comes to team fights. This year will be huge. And we were talking a little bit about uh, what's going to need to be banned by LNG, but that is here, maybe starting to rear its ugly head here. We will see Weibo actually trying to make a play on the Zika in the side lane. Xiaohu is going to tank the turret. Does stutter step his way out, and that's an easy juggle there. A little healing from Zika, but the rocket jump will help Xiaohu get out to safety. 
And they get another one onto Shahu, onto this Tristana. Oh, wait, wait. I don't think, uh, you know, the, the Rel is going to find it. And an auto attack from Crisp is the one that gets it. Shao Hao just mind controls Wei Wei a little bit. Absolutely. Get in, get out. Of <laughs> he does he a lot of damage. Because his team won on the tops of the map. Another look for Scout. Wrong. Not wrong. Scout's going to go for the play on the Shao Hu, though. He's trying to get the outplay in for his divide. And he wants one kill back. He oh. gets it. Scout goes golden. He will not survive very much longer, but he got a kill back and it was onto the mid laner. Almost takes down Light as well, but that's a big shutdown. 700 gold to Light. Still, there was a one versus four, and now LNG have pushed in the mid lane. There's Dragon coming up as well. LNG already have one. They have the Reef Herald. They can take so much pressure on the map right here from the side of LNG. Scout bought them so much time. Took down Shaku, which was the strongest member from Weibo Gaming as well. Great stuff coming here from LNG. We were waiting for a reply to all of this aggression, and Scout's Azir was the answer. Two mid lane towers plus a lot of that vision. That Weibo Gaming have a lot of scouting in the jungle to do before they even get a anywhere near this Baron. Now they are pulling the trigger. Zika does have teleport to join his team if he needs to, but Shaku is all the way in base. And he doesn't have TP to get in. Nature's Grass coming across here now as well. 3,000 health on the bear. Can Shao even get into the pit? He's going to flash. He's going to go. He gets it. He steals it away. That's going to be a big bubble blocked out of by ZDZ. Triple knockback there. He will give his life, but it is four Baron buffs cloaking Weibo. Oh my gosh, Shao carries like the Lucian and like the like the Kalista. They are going to struggle when you have a lot of setup and a lot of broken your oh. team. Scout? Oh, oh, who's going to get it? Shao who Ooh. flashes into the bush. Scout goes golden. He's going to go for it. He gets the explosive. He's oh. dead in midair. Scout with the cool guy looks will not even die to the explosion. They fight for this. They could just give it over to LNG. Looks like that might be the decision in the end because LNG have a lot of strength in the five man. You see he's stepping up. They just want it. It's going to be taken over by Weiwei. Here comes the TP in from Xiaohu. The pop boss of oh, double. Huge. And they're looking for the reset. Tidal Wave stops Xiaohu in his tracks. But here he comes with the damage profile. Crisp is in there. He goes golden. Zika flashes up the wall. Finds a little bit of damage. But ZDZ on the scout. And they take him down. Now Xiaohu can go to Reset City. And it's looking like a beach paradise. As Tristana will have the distance, the damage, and the length. Had to find the difference for Weibo. They pull it back from the break and they increase their lead by 3k. And Weibo did not want to take the Inventory chance. That hurt really hard. I feel oh, like the wow. key moment are here for LNG is having Zika pinned down uh, light onto this Kalista so they can play the team fight a little bit more freely. They need to choose. They need to do something. Weibo are just going to burn the bear. And now the engage from Weiwei goes wide. This is ripe for the picking for Weibo. As LNG find themselves on the wrong side of the tracks. The bubble connects, but actually in the end, it does not. And uh, it looks like LNG might need to find an exit plan here. What? Pressuring down the waves and trying to crash them at the same exact time. However, it wasn't the case at this time around. Oh, Ooh. you see Scout and Zika, the TP in the back oh, line. Oh, Gala. He almost just dies outright. Now Scout with the double TP from Ooh. him and Zika. They get the Pop Blossom on a Scout, but he's going to go golden. That's a really good play call there. Here comes ZDZ, though. ZDZ wants Gala. Look how fast he is. And now Weibo, they take that engage. They're turning it right back on LNG. And LNG look like a bunch of chickens with their heads cut off they're running around they do get the culling back into Shao Hao but here comes Shao Hu he wanted Gala he can't get him he can't get his old ADC but he can take down Zika and light rends the life from the crocodile and now Weibo are on to the dragon pit and TPing behind it Shao Hu oh I don't know if he actually has the angle though uh, Gala try to go over the other side oh my goodness explosions happen and a fish gets served up for sushi dinner now light has found him and he oh. gets the stop on the scout scout wants the damage but he doesn't have it Weibo what? Gaming's team fight is just Switch? that much better I can't believe it. No way. They just went off of this as well. They still have the minions here. Okay, ZDZ's taking a brunt of damage, but Shao cleans him up. Oh my goodness. One fell swoop, one giant leap, and Weibo, they're on the cusp of going 2-0 up for the second time in a row. And here we go. It's match point for Weibo Gaming. A triple kill for Shao Nice. As ZDZ is going to be taking the Varus to top lane. Hold on. Is this Merwin from Matt Coy? About two to three camps up onto this brand. 
And now coming back onto the map, you see how Xiaoha has his entire jungle if he chooses to go back to clear, but he's looking both sides. He's got the glitch to prison, gonna hit Hung. That's a frozen fish, gonna be served up for dinner later. That is first blood for Weibo yet again. Ooh, I feel like Hang. Xiao Hao actually takes a huge trade into Wei Wei, but they want this fight as the cooldowns go down. Scout comes over for the fight as Power Class will be used. Might be able to get a little bit of damage back, but Light has joined the fight now, and Wei Wei does not have a lot of health. It will get the Buster shot at a Scout to save his life. And Weibo are going to bunch up as a team. Four members that was a top set of the map. Oh. They know that Kang and Gal have swapped. Oh, they're going to get caught again. Oh, ZDZ claims that kill. ZDZ, no TP. So Weibo Gaming can just let this one go. They already took first tower on the map, and there's no one to reply that bot pressure that ZDZ has been building. So much gold being given over to Weibo just passively here. Shao, he's playing <laughs> with their minds a little bit there. He will get bubbled, but Light oh. going to pop the lightning crash, and there's a little bit of a difference in when lightning hits a fish, and we see that right now as Weiwei actually getting a nice stun on Shao, who he's going to flash away. Chris trying to delay Gala on the other side. He's doing so much damage. Xiaohao misses the engage with the Arctic Assault. Light's going to go low with the explosive charge. Flash being burned by Xiaohao. LNG can chase. Scout was looking for the rocket jumps, but not going to pull the Shut trigger on. Mid lane, LNG. Tommy now clutch right here, getting that Rift Trial Hang is going to go towards the bolt of the map where ZDZ has been putting so much pressure. If he does hit the bubble, they could kill him. All right, the Unstoppable actually came through there. ZDZ locked up and taken out. Zika gets some revenge of his own. Zika with the solo kill, almost. We're not going to mention that Nami was there. Uh, on to ZDZ. But again, pressure in the mid lane from LNG did not result in a tower, but we mentioned how important was going to be that Void Grubs buff in terms of Scout on the Tristana, on a side lane, taking down towers. But Weibo Gaming, once again, are going to use their reset timers from LNG. LNG to sneak yet another neutral objective is going to be the dragon this time around. And I'm starting to get worried, Mazel. I'm starting to get worried. I see 2-0-1 on the Zeri. I wouldn't be so worried if I was like, hey, you know, I've seen Ruler's Lucian, you know, get even out of lane. It's <laughs> fine. And then he destroys an entire, an entire game just by being even. However, Gala in the previous game did not show any signs of that, and I'm starting to get worried. They actually get the combo here. Shao he's getting the explosive charge. He's on. That's a flash. Oh, Scout's oh. under turret. He's going to go down here. No, the turret shot's not enough. And Scout gets out alive. ZDZ ends up having to get away from that one. Oh. <laughs> Try to go for the cheeky play there. Can't end up finding it. Weiwei and Hung trying to collapse onto ZDZ here, but now we actually have LNG transition to kind of hover over Scout on bottom side of the map, but you have to be careful in these kinds of moments because that's where Weibo's quick decision making and long distance engage can come in clutch. Look at that. It's a little bit of a drift and it's Weiwei getting knocked right back into his death's grave. Ooh, and we mentioned how pivotal it is to hit those Sejuani ultimates. You are the only engage coming out from Weibo Gaming and right now without Weiwei, without the wave clear, Gala has already used his calling. They could end up taking down the tower. I love it because Xiao Hu at the beginning of the season was I'm going to be the one to bring you to the uh -oh. mountaintop. Xiao Hao is the one trying to bring you to the mountaintop. Now he's got to find a way to disengage from Zika here. It's going to be Chris by the flash out. Weaver's wall blocking the rest of LNG out. And look at that. Weibo as a team strong together. Yep, he got absolutely lulu right there. Gala has to flash out of the knockup as well from Mike. They're playing on the edge. LNG wants to be out because in a proper front to back, you do not have the engage tools to pick up these fights. Uh -oh. anyway, he knows that somebody's over here. ZDZ is going to catch him in the bush. A lot of damage, though, coming back to him. Scout's going to go in, does get the reset there. Huge step and gets caught out by ZDZ. And uh, now LNG can take the dragon, force that hand. Ooh, right before the dragon as well. You definitely do not want to be getting close. ZDZ, you're not on Cassante this time around. That is a very, very squishy oh, jump inside of the map. There is no TP for 17 seconds. There is no TP at all. All to ZDZ, so they could force a four versus five for this Baron. Yeah. I, I'm just sitting here in my head screaming, finally, finally, LNG are looking awake. Finally, these players who have been some of the top of their role are looking alive. Now, Light is looking alive, his own right. That electricity is pumping through his veins, and he's taking down Hung in his own. That's a solo to him. Now, Hao, who ended up coming in clutch there, can't make it out alive, and neither can Xiaohu. They'll chase him down, and 
It's Scout that gets him. Zika ended up taking out Crisp in the mid lane. Gotta get out of there. Nice damage back from Weiwei, who's gonna get caught by the Glacial Prison. Here comes Xiaohu as well. A lot of CC can go down. Here's the seismic shove. Weiwei's flashing into a wall, and he headbutts himself to death. Xiaohu claims it. Weibo Gaming catching LNG onto the rotation towards that mid lane tower. That Baron did not end end up resulting in too many structures for LNG. So Weibo Gaming should technically be happy. Now to a new legacy. Absolutely, trying to take them out. Same as Weibo, right? Going all the way to World's Finals with Weibo Gaming. Now playing for the other side of the Rift. Then talking about the other side of the Rift, the Dragon has come up. So point, it would be for Weibo Gaming. They're already taking it down so quickly there. Who's going to get the smite? It's actually Weiwei this time. So Hook playing the second Ocean Dragon, but the fight afterwards is the important part. Zika goes in. He's a little bit too far. Nice lockdown there on his EDZ. Light Lightning crashes, but Gala is able to help Scout take him down. And now Scout tries to find Chris, but can't do it. Xiao Hu's trying to flash away, but he gets dragged back by Zika. And LNG are TPing into the bot side of the map. They want to try to do lasting damage to the base of Weibo. There is no damage left from the side of Weibo Gaming. There's just a Setsuani and a Lulu, and there's five members of LNG absolutely smashing those towers. They have the wave, they have the power. Can Weibo Gaming here defend? It's just a Lulu There's and a the Setsuani. They got Xiaohao and Chris, but can they stand against the wave of LNG? They have one more wave. They're into the last turret here as well. The focus will be the Nexus after it comes through. Chris oh. goes down. LNG will not go quietly into the night. And we will go to a game number four. Side lane pressure with TF, especially since you have Aatrox and you have Needly, being able to join the side lanes on skirmishes like that, especially if Wave was pressure right here, Ooh. they did not overextend, they allowed ZDZ to pressure the wave, which forces Zika to reply. Now he's ditched the wave under tower and looking for ZDZ. Scott has yellow card. He steps up a little far. Equalizer going to separate where LNG can walk through. Oh, nice root donning shadow on top. He's trying to get out, but he can't do it. First blood goes to LNG. Second blood goes to LNG. And guess who's picking it up? It's that vicious cougar in the jungle, Weiwei. Wei. He's looking for Crisp as well on the other side with a spear. He's going to connect it. And that's a triple, triple kill for the world's finalist jungler. And he's come back. When it comes to the spears landing from Weiwei, it's really going to hurt those hate speed bars. It's only later on that the middle is not having a very great time. Zidiz is not having a great time either. He is definitely not. He's going to wish that he had some uh, wildlife repellent of some sort because Weiwei comes up, gives him a visit, gives Zika a kill, and that's huge. Also, on top of all that, while Weibo was getting that dragon earlier, all Fine six. Fine to give this one. Uh, away, especially since the, since they do not have the setup, they don't have their Tom Kent right there. Spawn to Weiwei is in primary position. We'll end up knowing that they're there though. Weibo trying to collapse over. Oh, Light, you're in a lot of trouble. Destiny on the other side of the wall. The flash coming out now as well. If Chris just goes instantly on the scout, but the Dotting Shadow across on a two, and Chris is already gone. Zika try to go for a side engage. ZDZ on the other side does have Equalizer available and his flash. Weibo still have tools to fight, but they've lost their primary engage in Chris. Absolutely, and right now you need your equalizer to stick without that Nautilus. How do you make the equalizer stick? How do you make a huge impact with it? I feel like right here, Weibo Gaming just need to give up this dragon and try to play for a little bit more pressure on the map, pushing that mid lane wave, pushing that top lane wave, and try to get some of that standing goal that you've been mentioning on the map. Wait a minute. Her right now, and Weibo are going to trade that for a Baron. This is a big moment, and Zika has a TP. This is a pretty great Baron Pit for ZDZ onto the oh. Rumble, but he's been chucked down so hard. Scout has the engage on the other side. Gotta watch out for the yellow card. Big Donnie Chat on three members. Equalizer comes way li too little, way too late. LNG are moving forward. Yellow card could be coming up for Scout. They get Chris first. Now flashing forward. Xiao Hao's getting in trouble. He's not gonna find any kind of reset. And it's about to be a full ace here. Can they find Xiao Hu? The last remaining member of Tongue Lash comes through. They might set this one up here for Weiwei, but it's going to be Zika and a full ace on the Weibo and a full lead for LNG. Weibo Gaming, do you believe in deja vu? Because I'm sure, I'm so sure you've seen this before. You've seen the 2-0. You've seen the 3-0 crumble before your eyes. LNG are bringing out their arch nemesis needily. Bringing God, it's it. just so good. Oh my goodness. The TF pick coming in against Xiaohu in Wave a pivot. Player.
I'll give them that. Zare is pretty good. Karma's pretty good. You can throw down the Equalizer. However, if you have to throw down the Equalizer to push out a wave, that will give LNG a way to push through another lane. They caught Han, but he's very tanky. He is tanky. He's going to have to burn his Flash. End up getting a nice healing factor there from Weiwei. As, oh, Xiaohu. Crisp down trouble. Everybody's losing their health bars. And Zika comes in over the top for the kill. Destiny has been popped in a backline access. Scout will get there. Nice yellow card. Sets up Zika for a second kill. Q sweet spot's not going to connect, but Xiaohu's going to heartbreak her his way Go out of that. Whoever want, whichever one he wanted. However, he did go for the furthest one. Thank you, Rapid Fire Cannon. It was the Zeri. Life goes down. And lights out for Weibo Gaming very, very soon as a 14,000 gold lead. LNG is literally knocking on their front door whilst they're waiting in a brush on the neighbor's garden. They're trying to find Zika, but he played. Base from the set of LNG. Very, very well calculated right here. And this is crashing down their waves. You'll see that right now. Mid lane's gonna crash in a second. Toplin is already shoving and Bolton is already underneath the tower. Definitely LNG bombed. is just a matter of seconds. They got a full flank going right here. Donnie Shadow delays what LNG can do and now they find more. No shout how's gonna flash out. Light is looking to fight back. He's gonna be turned into just a lightning rod for LNG's success. More kills to Weiwei. LNG kill everyone but Xiaohu. And they're on to the Nexus turrets for three days in a row. The LPL has delivered. Are you not entertained? A game number five on the horizon. With priority mid lane, you've got a very stable top lane pick in the likes of Cassante on the set of LNG. You've got a perma farming jungler in the likes of Brad. He's going to need a little bit more of the control of the reins. And last time, it did not go so well for him. So I'm hoping to see a little bit of a comeback in that regard. As a uh, new and bright face to Weibo, he'll come mid lane to Scout, who will know his face very well. Nice little seismic shove, gonna miss, but forces Scout to step forward. And now he might just go down first blood. One more auto attack, and Xiao who gets it. Nice damage coming out from Weiwei. He's gonna have to burn his flash, Way but better. Wei You know you're gonna have to stand out. Again, we saw it in game three, absolutely lethal. However, Weibo, they have TP onto Xiaohu if they wanna pull the trigger and fight this. Ooh, the all out is gonna bring the fight for ZDZ to the front of the helm. Now he's gonna have a ton of damage onto him. is gonna go back in with the Crescent Guard. More grubs completed, though, for LNG. They get the first spawn of those mites. Weibo got one of them, though, and Hung makes his way out of there. LNG got what they came for. They make it out with a couple summoner spells burned. Way yeah, and ZDZ walked all the way down bot, not wanting to burn his teleport. Scout is just going to dodge that knockoff as well. He'll be back in top lane just in time. However, Weibo Gaming are looking for a dive bot. There is Flash on Scout. <laughs> He's in a lot of trouble. He does get the call from his support hung. Pulls off the advance of Weibo. Does end up clearing out the rest. Actually got his coal completed from Ooh. that as well. Ooh, nice. Oh, he hit Wait, the what? piercing arrow the wrong way, though. Gala still falls to light. Or to Xiaohao, rather. And that'll be a second kill to Weibo. And even if you miss it, it still works. More moves to make sure they're ahead enough to get to that late game. Rift Herald already about half health. Already almost gone, rather. And Weibo moving in. Xiaohao trying to get the smite fight over Weiwei. Weiwei will claim that one anyways. A couple souls come out. And LNG pushed back a little bit. Xiaohu hits it's about nice uh, a little bit of LNG's comfort zone in the oh. later game. Weibo looking to set up a play here. Weaver's Wall coming across, but just a little bit late. Here comes the quickness play with the grand entrance. Double TP. And the Avengers have been called here. LNG want to strike right back. Xiaohao with the Crescent Guard delays a lot of time and a lot of spacing. Now their TP right back and Zika gets caught out on his own and he's down for the count. And one member down means Weibo Gaming get to walk in that river for free. It is a four versus five. There is no teleport for Zika. He literally just used it to get into this mid. Might be a game breaker if they do manage to get that soul later on in five minutes. I claim that one. Light realizes uh -oh. Light. I might have Walk the wrong, wrong way. way, and ZDZ is still on the deepest flank. He's gonna see another control, and he's like, dang, <laughs> there's another one here. He just can't find the way through. He's just gonna have to brute force it as the seismic shove goes wide. Xiaohu, he gets caught. Gala, his old teammate, gets the root on him. He's gonna have to burn the flash. Now Xiaohu in there on the back line. Chris already popped the quickness and just goes oh. down to the explosive charge. Now the rocket jump reset is there for Scout, and he might find another one here. He can't get the damage down because the crescent guard and shout how under turret with light but it 
might be too little too late. Will the light shine through? Zika all is out of and it goes dark. ZDZ is here. Xiao Hao's here. Now TP from Xiao Hu. LNG might be in a little bit of trouble now, but they could just collapse. It is a 5v2 because Xiao Hao is no longer in this Dude, fight. He's I'm getting a little bit greedy which actually has allowed time for light to spawn back on the map in 10 seconds. it was very, very messy from both sides and LNG almost overextending there for kills. Oh, they're just going to ride that wall all day long. They actually find Wei Wei completely caught out and Light claims the kill. Now Hung just oh. sacrifices his life on top of it. It's a 5v3 and Weibo are on the Baron. They catch in Wei Wei into the jungle your smite is down there's only three members remaining from the set of weibo gaming and they're trying to do their hardest to push waves onto the map because once this baron buff goes down there's going to be immense pressure from the side of weibo gaming really well done actually here from lng to minimize their losses they know they're losing to the will free the up a little bit of space actually for the renekton to walk up bot lane as well since you know four members of lng are defending that mid lane and the next Wave Ooh. is going to be coming. They're looking for light. Wait, Shaku. Scout just jumped in. He just gets chunked. He is out with his flash. Barely able to survive. Gala oh, flashes Gala! forward to take down light. And now Gala is a pretty worse for wear after that one. Weiwei is trying to get some tankiness in onto Weibo's backside. Ooh. He will end up flashing out away from Xiaohao. Gala just completely ignored creeps. Teammates, yo, enemy yo, front yo. is going in. Scout is coming back in. He doesn't know. Scout has no chill. He wants more. Here comes the Abyssal Voyage, and there's one for Scout. He claims it with the explosive charge, and Zika found his way to a flank. It's a double flangle, and now Scout's finding another rocket jump, but he gets locked down by ZDZ. Hey, they just couldn't necessarily capitalize onto Scout's we gotta stand get into it now. alive. Yeah, we got half health on the dragon. ZDZ already on the other side. Scout getting engaged on by the quickness. Chris, he's getting low. He's going to go down after the explosive charge, giving a reset over to Scout, who's already dead, though. And now ZDZ, he's in there, gets his Steric's gauge pop. The dragon goes over. Mountain Soul has been acquired. And Weibo have set their sights on the LNG. Shao Hao wants that fight, and he'll take it all day. Light picks up the kill, and Weibo get everything they needed. And they're looking mid lane now. Ooh, this whole game has been back and forth fights. Weibo Gaming managing to get out of this one with two kills and the soul. And a knockup right there onto Zika. Try not to see if we can get a third oh, kill. Extremely immobile. You pin them down, you'll have a Renekton on your head in no time. So LNG need to put down their vision very well when they want to push that mid lane wave because it's going to be Baron next and they need he some vision. That up. Oh. Crispy's lurking. He's still, he he's on the other side of the rift. <laughs> Shout who's over here like, all right, all right. Maybe I can uh, help you out a little bit. Ooh, shield bow just got completed for Scout. He will join the fight. Baron already half held Weaver's wall to block out LNG. It's going to last just enough time for them to take it down. Although it will be a fight they need to take afterwards. Pyroclasm starts coming down. Chris going to pop the quickness, but have it gotten the engage yet zdz he's getting clapped and he gets all outed that's gonna be a kill over to gala lng get one back before purple capes for weibo four buffs remaining from the set of weibo gaming and i feel like it was the right call right coming up in 35 seconds here there is a little bit of vision down there lng are collapsing uh -oh. onto zdz the rest of weibo are here to try to stop it but they are streaming down onto zdz he's gonna use his slice out weaver's wall coming in scout is locked down scout gonna get devoured but hung gets dragged back scouts in trouble they have to save him they don't the double MVP from last year is already gone. And Weibo, they've taken two down. Gala, he's going to go down too. Everything's falling apart for LNG. And you can't write a story better than this for Weibo. Two times they have gone the distance. And two times they have stopped the reverse sweep. It was a bait! It was a bait! The Renekton was a bait! They thought he was all alone. They only see Shao Ha, but everyone flies in the screen. And Weibo Gaming, they thought they could close it 3-0. It was it. a deja vu from Monday. 
and they'll get another series they get all it. five games. All five games, it's over, it's done for. The Tiger King of Spring has reared his fangs, and Weibo, they'll make good on their summer playoff loss, and they'll head on to the Titans of J. These were some of the best highlights from the LPL 2024 Spring Playoffs matchup between Weibo and LNG. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.